It's time to learn a little more about the man behind the greatest worst movie ever made. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Tommy Wiseau facts. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at fun facts related to actor and director Tommy Wiseau. Number 10. He's protective of his private life. Tommy Wiseau is well known for the cloud of secrecy that surrounds the details of his personal history. For example, he does his best to avoid questions aimed at his age, nationality, and even his name. In fact, Tommy Wiseau is not his real name. While it remains unclear what his full name really is, there are some who postulate that his real name is Viator and that he is originally from Poland. While he claims to have lived in France and later New Orleans, he's never confirmed his place of birth or his full birth name. Number 9. He Loves America I'd like to wish you a happy, ha happy Memorial Day. Tommy Wiseau doesn't just like America, he loves it. He even insists that he was born there, though his accent, not to mention the 2016 documentary, Room Full of Spoons, would suggest otherwise. Wiseau is so obsessed with the good old USA Bay that on the one-year anniversary of 9-11, he had the entire cast and crew of The Room not just take one minute of silence, but five before leading them in a spirited chant of USA. We have a beautiful country from east to west, from north to south, name it. A naturalized American citizen, Wiseau has a deep and profound love of the country, its culture, and many of its most famous icons. They're, they're afraid to enjoy this, so for God's sake, it's Memorial Day, don't be afraid. Number eight, he believes the room lowered the crime rate in America. What is the room? <laughs> That's a good question. Okay, let us explain. During an interview with the now-defunct blog Gawker, Wiseau claimed screening the room midnight eliminated crime in America. He then began rambling about how young people in the streets with nothing to do are better off catching a screening of the room as opposed to walk on the street, grab the rock, and by accident you hit somebody. What do you mean? According to him, quote, accident happen, get them arrested, go to jail, whatever, end quote. Okay, we get it. Wiseau isn't exactly the best public speaker, but I, I mean, I guess his logic is sound, right? We'll be creating society or to be perfect society for everyone. Number seven, he hates farts. Oh my God, Dad, you farted! That is so nasty! Whereas most people react to farts in a slightly annoyed but ultimately indifferent manner, Tommy Wiseau has a tendency to fly off the handle whenever someone in his general vicinity passes gas. Why are you so hysterical? He infamously went berserk on the set of The Room when a crew member cut the cheese, launching into a tirade and shouting, Please don't do this ridiculous stuff. It's disgusting as hell. What's that I hear? Apparently, Wiseau has even turned down valet surfaces, fearing the valet might fart on his seat. This isn't just a hatred of farts, it's a phobia. Number six, he butted heads with Tim and Eric. Tim, I got you something. What? Tim Heidecker and Eric Wareheim, best known for their sketch comedy series, Tim and Eric Awesome Show, Great Job, agreed to help Wiseau in 2009 with a show he was developing called The Neighbors. The move came after Wiseau appeared on an episode of their aforementioned series. However, things didn't go as planned. Apparently, problems began to arise when Wiseau requested creative input from the comedic duo, who had only signed on as producers. Please, please. I can. My brain is not on. I'm asking for one favor, please. I can. My brain is not on. They wanted Wiseau to do what he does in a vacuum without any assistance from professionals. The trio couldn't come to an agreement, and Tim and Eric left. It's not over. Everybody betrayed me. I fed up with his world. Number five, The Room is not his only film. What kind of movie are we going to see? Well, we'll see... Danny, don't play too much. It may not come out right. This may come as a surprise, but Tommy Wiseau has made more than one movie in his career as an actor and filmmaker. In fact, he's made several. Seven years after the failure, or success, of The Room, Wiseau acted in two short films, The House That Drips Blood on Alex and Bump. A couple of years after that, he acted in and produced the action thriller Samurai Cop 2 Deadly Vengeance. You cannot die. Of course, we all know that Wiseau is best when he's behind the camera. So if you're looking for a Wiseau-directed work, check out his 2004 documentary, Homeless in America. Oh, and he also produced, wrote, and acted in it. Happy watching. All people are one paycheck away from being homeless. Number four, he has his own online store. To be or not to be. 
that is the question. What do you do when you're the internationally recognized writer, director, and star of one of the most popular cult movies in film history? Open a bizarre online store, of course. TommyWiseau.com is the one-stop shop for all the Tommy Wiseau-inspired items you never knew you needed. From DVDs, backpacks, and dog tags to underwear, posters, and hoodies, the site pretty much has you covered for all things related to Wiseau, the room, and, well, a bunch of other random stuff. You must be kidding, underwear. I got the picture. Yeah. The hardest part about visiting the site is trying to decide what to click on next. And I feel my underwear is the number one underwear in the world. Number three, he's a terrible dinner date. According to Greg Sestero's 2013 memoir, The Disaster Artist, My Life Inside the Room, The Greatest Bad Film Ever Made, having dinner with Tommy Wiseau is an interesting experience. One dinner in particular stood out for him. It was 2002, and after agreeing to dine with him, Wiseau acted in exactly the bizarre manner he has become famous for. Wiseau refused to let the valet park his car because, as we previously noted, he didn't want the man to fart on his seats. Once inside the restaurant, Wiseau used a fake name in order to get a table and then took exception to the fact that women were hitting on him. All in all, an odd experience. What well, the interesting part is that on our first date, she paid for dinner. Number two, he promoted the room with a billboard that stayed up for years. Los Angeles, everybody want to be star. You have to be the best. In the lead up to its 2003 release, the room was advertised in a variety of ways, foremost among them being a massive billboard that overlooked Hollywood's Highland Avenue. The billboard featured a black and white image of Wiseau's face, as well as a phone number and link to the film's website. Of course, none of this is uncommon in the world of film promotion. What is uncommon is that the billboard stayed up for over five years, and it cost Wiseau $5,000 per month. How he managed to pay for it remains a mystery. I cannot tell you, it's confidential. Number one, he claims to have amassed his fortune by selling pleather jackets. I don't care, I'll do it. Based on its obvious lack of production value, you may be surprised to learn that the room actually had a budget of six million dollars. How did Tommy Wiseau afford to pay for his passion project, you ask? By selling jackets, of course. The story goes that when he first got to San Francisco, he sold everything from yo-yos to jeans and later began importing and selling Korean jackets. Of course, it's difficult to get a straight answer out of him. So for all we know, this could just be a classic case of misdirection. And Tommy Wiseau is actually a member of some European royal family. But, I mean, probably not. Let's stand up and give it for Mr. Tommy Wiseau! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.